the cotton candy skies. My baby put these here for me. <laughs> National Park and wow is it already breathtaking so I think it's 10 bucks to enter but we have our handy dandy National Parks Pass it gets us everywhere we need to be we can't do a lot of hikes here which is why we're doing a couple hikes right outside the park for all you people with dogs that you like to travel with your dogs but we're gonna do a drive-through uh, it's gonna take about three hours two and a half hours or so and it's supposed to be really pretty. A lot of sights, a lot of arches, and I think we actually already see one. This part of the park is the Garden of Eden uh, turnout, the Garden of Eden viewpoint, however you want to refer to it.
I'm going picture crazy. I can't help it. Look at this. Your arches definitely go to the window section. You get to see a little bit of everything up there. The penis looking formations, <laughs> the arches, <laughs> the striations, and then the beautiful valley too. I mean, whew. We'll be right back. 0.2 miles, that's less than five minutes. Let's get it. Second arch, walk to. We typically stay in the car when dogs aren't allowed at national parks, but there's so many of this little convenient 0.2, 0.3 mile trails that go straight up to them. So if you are bringing your furry little friend to arches, just know, rest assured, you will be able to see some pretty cool stuff if you're down to leave them in the car for five to 10 minutes.